Hey there everyone, Hitesh here, back again with another video and welcome to a fresh new section. This section is gonna be more on to the Docker. In the previous section, we have worked on just one file, which was Docker file. There was nothing inside the folder, so we didn't learn much. Surely it was a great start for a beginner, but now we want to step one more thing. And in this video, we are gonna learn a little bit on to how we can create a customized image which serves exactly like the way you want. And for that, obviously we need a project to have. Now, I don't expect that you are fully ready to take down any project or not, that's completely out of the gate. I simply want you to follow my instruction and understand this bit uh, piece of information so that you can create a very simplistic project based on Node. No, this video is not going to uh, make sure that you're going to becoming an absolute guru in the Node.js. That's not the case. We just want you to have a little bit understanding of it. So here's the goal. We're going to create a very simple Node application and you will be understanding everything about this application. This is very bare minimum. It's almost like typing less than 20 lines of codes. That's pretty much it. And then we are gonna work on that with the Docker so that we can understand that how Docker can help in such beautiful scenario. Now again, uh, I want you to understand the things in the node scenario as well. I surely could have given you a file and could have just told you, hey, run this command and voila. But I think with this tutorial, you can actually get a little bit more help on the node as well. So I have created a diagram for you to understand that how actually node application work. Now there are three major components in any node application. The first one is the package.json file. And again, the package is in the lower case, but just ignore that. Then there is a folder that is known as node modules. This is the second component of a node-based application. And the third component is this box. Now in this box, it's not likely that you are always gonna see just the source. There are some other files as well. That's why I've kept them here. There are some other files, uh, files but uh, we mostly just worry about the source folder. Now in case the source folder is not there, there might be some standalone files like index one or two, whatever that is. It doesn't really matter. You can call your file anything as uh, we care about this project only. So how does these three elements interact with each other? Now for this particular project that we are gonna do in the Docker, this real life scenario, almost real life, you need to understand the flow between the, these three guys pretty clearly. So first and foremost, we always create a package.json file. In this JSON file, there are some modules and some packages which are installed uh, inside a node for a uh, project. Now these, this package.json file install everything, whatever is mentioned inside it, into a folder named as node modules. Now, whatever you are keeping it inside the source or index file or any other file, takes the help of this node module folder and run all the things up here. Let me repeat this again. This is really simple. In the package.json file, you mention what you're gonna need to build that project and that everything is being basically just on this small file based on that. Everything is installed in a large format in this node module file. And we, did, we do everything using the npm install. I'll do that, then things will become much more clear. And based on this node module folder, we just work everything inside the source. Okay, really clear. Now again, make sure you understand that whatever you're writing inside this source folder or one.js or index.js, that has nothing to do with the package.json. Package.json file always and only interact with the node modules. Now surely there are some slight cases here and there, but we are not worried about those specially ca specialized cases. We are only worried about the project that we are gonna build up. So just keep this much in mind in case you are not aware of the node-based project. So that's it and you will be absolutely ready to create a project. Now the next thing that you have to do is go ahead and just go to node.js node .org and install uh, this recommended for most users. Just download it. It's a pretty simple download. For Windows, it's just next, next, next. I agree, okay stuff. For Windows users, it's a pretty, again, super simple installation process. They give you a PKG file, next, next, I agree, kind of a stuff. Okay, now let's go ahead and uh, see that how we can work on with this. So we're gonna keep this folder up here, uh, this diagram here so that we can understand every step. Now, first and foremost, we are going to open up a terminal. So let me open up the terminal. There we go, a fresh new terminal. I'm gonna go ahead and go to my desktop and create a new folder 
uh, mkdir. There we go. And we're going to call this as my node. You can create, you can call this folder, whatever you like. It's, it's actually super easy. Uh, so we're going to simply say, uh, go to my node. There we go. There is nothing inside this folder right now. Now make sure once you have installed the node, node actually gives you the access to a couple of commands. One is node, of course, and you can check that by saying node dash V, it will give you a version of node. As long as you are having any version, I really don't care for this particular project. And it will also give you an access to NPM dash V, which is a node package manager. And as long as something is shown up on your screen, whatever the version, it's totally fine. So there we go. We have verified that the node is available on our system. Now we're going to go ahead and create. So how do we proceed? That's really simple. First and foremost, we go ahead and create this package.json file because obviously if package.json file is not there, there is no node module folder. That means whatever you're going to write into these files, it's not going to be worth it. So it's always a great idea to first and foremost and create this. So let me fire up the terminal. And what we're going to do first and foremost is we're going to simply say uh, npm, then we're going to say init means initialization. And then I'm going to say dash y. The reason why, why we are putting up dash y because it asks too many questions and I just want to give it a default command that I'm okay with whatever you are creating. Let's hit enter and there we go. So it has created, as you can notice, it says wrote to, so it has written a package.json file. And here are some of the instructions that are given in this package.json file. Okay, sounds good. Now we are going to change a few things, but for that we need to open this folder in a code editor. So let's go ahead and fire that up. So I'm going to simply use my code editor, which happens to be VS code. And there we go. Looks great. So I'm going to expand that, sp expand this uh, to the fullest and I'm going to click on package.json. So as you can see, it's not a really big file. It's just a JSON file, which is holding a few stuff, just like version description and stuff like that. A big word of caution. Now, deliberately, we are not putting up anything inside the description because that is not at all necessary for this like uh, very toyish project. This will give us some of the warnings, not the errors, the warnings. And I'm just warning you ahead so that you know that why these errors are coming up. Okay, now moving further, let's read this a little bit. So first and foremost, it says main. There is a main file index.js. We don't have it right now. We're going to create that in a moment. And then we are going to have some of the scripts as well to run. We're going to change a little bit into this script. I know that's like a little bit too much we are going, but that's actually necessary. So uh, what we're going to do, we are going to simply say start. So this script will be responsible for starting my project. How do I start my project? I'm going to remove everything and make sure you are inside the double quote still. And we're going to simply say node index.js. And that's all you have to say. So basically what we are doing is remember the default command in the Docker? This is going to be something related to that. So we are allowing our project to run based on node index.js. Now I'm going to save this and that's it. Now notice here that right now we have said that package.json is going to be responsible for installing those node modules. Yes, that's exactly what we're going to do. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go back to my terminal. There we go. And I want to install a package. Now that package, what it does, we really don't care much about it as of now. This is just some random package I'm installing. So how to install that? Remember I told you a command npm install and there are two versions of this command again. npm install will check into the package.json file. If anything is not installed, it's going to install it. But if you want to install explicitly something, you have to say npm install express and we're going to hit enter. There we go. That's the command we have to run. Now make sure wherever you are running this command, whenever you are doing ls, you are able to see that package.json file. Otherwise, this command is not going to work. Okay, so this is going to be a fairly easy process. My, looks like my node is out of date, but really don't care. Notice here it has added a new file that says dependencies express. Now here the version number, we really don't care whatever you have installed. Now also notice here that a new folder has appeared that says node module and it has a gigantic thing inside it. So that is the reason why we are able to work with it so much easily. Okay, now there is one last piece missing here. So let's check out the diagram. We have package.json, 
it has generated a node module folder for us. And now the last thing is whatever you want to create source, these folders, one to index.js. You guessed it right. We are interested in the index.js. So let's go ahead and create a new file. I'm gonna create it right just directly here. And I'm gonna simply say index.js. Okay, so there we go. Our index.js file is up and we are going to write some code inside it, but not in this video. I know there is already too much we have done. Uh, for those people who are already aware that how to create node packages, node projects or the backend, it might be like really simple breeze movement for them. But for those people who are following the Docker series and still are following along in this node uh, project, that is too much for them. Now again, I really don't mean to just work on the node. It can be a Django project or everything. Uh, it doesn't really matter if it is a Django project, Ruby on Rails or any other project as well. Once you understand this scenario, this can be applicable to node projects, to Django projects, to Ruby on Rail, PHP, you just name it. This exact workflow will be followable in every single project that you will be working on. So that's it for this video. Let's catch up in the next video and we're gonna write some code for our first node project for Docker.